Hello everyone. I'm back after a long hiatus. Haven't had any big updates recently uh, until today. As you, we all know, Verizon did release uh, the Jelly Bean operating system for the Galaxy, their version of the Galaxy Nexus after a long time, finally. I know a lot of, the first thing I want to jump into is how to get it because I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering when you're going to get it. It's going to be about a month because there's a lot of owners and uh, can't have too many people downloading it or it's going to crash. But there is a way to prompt it. It's very simple. I actually just did, I've been doing it all day and I finally got it to work after about 10 hours. But it does work. Uh, so what you would do is pull down the screen, you go to settings, all the way to apps. Go to all, make sure you go to all when you go to apps. Don't leave it on downloaded, that's default. Go to all, scroll down to the G's. Google Services Framework. So you click that. And in this, as far as a warning, this will mess up some things in your Google syncing. Um, stuff like uh, there, there's an app that, you know, when you're on the desktop and you want to send a page to your Galaxy Nexus. It, you know, things like that may stop working. So that's a warning. So if you want to wait, you know, a couple of weeks, it may come to you guys already in a way. Uh, but this is a warning. Sometimes some things, you know, become buggy. And just some things. The only thing that issue I've had when I did this for the last update prior was uh, I can't send uh, pages to the phone from desktop. Desktop to phone. I forgot what the app is called. That doesn't work anymore. But other than that, I don't really care because I got, you know, Jelly Bean. Okay, so the first thing you do is you hit force stop, uh, then you hit clear data. First force stop, then clear data. Make sure you do those two. Then you back out twice, and you go down to about phone. System update, and it will pop up. For this update, you have to make sure you're on Wi-Fi. So I'm not on Wi-Fi right now, but just make sure you're on Wi-Fi. That's the key because uh, this is a big file, I think 146 megabytes. So. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi before you do that, or you can't do it anyway. So yeah, as you can see, this is Verizon's version. Um, so yeah, that's how you get it. It took me about 50 tries to get it, so, you know, you have to stay persistent, be patient. It will happen. Um, one thing you'll see right out the gate, this phone's gotten so much faster. Um, it used to be real laggy when I would pop up certain things like uh, TweetDeck, especially when you haven't loaded in a long time. It takes forever. It's fast now. Um, and of course, the greatest feature, Google Now. Just pull up. Now, as you guys know, I have a Galaxy Nexus, so with Google Now, it has the most important information that they think I should know all the time. Right now, the Yankees are playing. Um, as we all know, yesterday, my beautiful Giants won. They have the weather, things like that. Um, and, you know, even though this is on a Galaxy ne uh, the Nexus 7, it's just so much sweeter on your, your cell phone because you actually carry it around with you and you're limited sometimes to when, when and where you can use your tablet. Um, so it works like a charm. Uh, Google. Google. New York Yankees. Are leading the Athletics one to zero in the bottom of the eighth inning. I know I did that before, but just to show you how that goes. So yeah, that's everything. Um, I haven't played any games or anything on here yet, um, but I know they improved the camera now. It tells you to tap to focus. I don't know if you could do that before, but it shows. So now it focuses for you when you tap wherever you want to tap. It focuses on. Um, which is pretty cool. I don't know if that option was there before, but it pops up now. Um, but other than that, it was just a quick look at the Jelly Bean update, how to acquire it, and if you guys have any other questions, feel free to text, uh, inbox me. Thank you.